Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, the Chosen Team once again did a live stream on their YouTube page. Dallas was there with his wife Amanda, as well as Chris, who is one of the Chosen Insiders. Throughout the video, Dallas talked about the latest controversial issues, including the deal with Lionsgate, the Pride Flag, and the new Philip. He also shared a long documentary on the making of Season 3 with commentaries from the cast and crew. If you don't want to watch all of the two-hour-long livestream, this video will be the perfect summary for you. Let's start with the order that Dallas prefers. He began with the issue of the Pride Flag. He summarized the issue once more and talked about people's responses under YouTube videos or other social media posts. He made it clear that they did not put the flag there intentionally. They didn't see the flag when editing the video because it's a tiny 3-inch flag. As you know, he had already posted an explanation video on this subject last week, so he just reiterated what he had said in that video. As the chosen team, they allow people to express their political opinions on their personal equipment, gear, clothes, and social media. This does not impact the show's content, which speaks for itself. Dallas also mentioned the two cast members who had spoken out about the pride flag issue on social media. One of these cast members was Joe Vanni Caro, who plays Thaddeus. After journalist Joan Root called for the boycott of The Chosen for the inclusion of the pride flag behind the scenes, Caro answered with a tweet that said, Anyone who is going to go at one of our family members for something like this is no fan of ours. They can close the door on the way out. Love one another as I have loved you. We stand with our brother. Joan Root then singled out Caro for allegedly supporting homosexuality. He said, the actor who plays Thaddeus in The Chosen stands by the display of the pride flag on set and believes that biblical love is an acceptance of homosexuality. Another cast member did not remain silent after seeing this tweet. Jordan Walker Ross. You know him as Little James responded, my brother Giovanni Caro isn't the only one who stands by the LGBTQ members of our chosen family. Get out of here with your hate, homophobia and ignorance. Not very Jesus-like of you Johnny. After much controversy, Ross tweeted a long text explaining what his previous comment meant. Apparently, as Dallas also described in the livestream, Ross and the other cast members were heard about their crew member with the pride flag receiving hurtful messages, and they did not want to hear the suggestion that the crew member in question should be fired for having a pride flag on set. Dallas said, this crew member has been on the show for a long time and doing a phenomenal job, so everyone on set immensely loves him. This is why the actors were quick to defend him. We can talk about this issue for hours, but also acknowledge that it should stop. Dallas and others already spent enough time on this subject. Watch Dallas's last video on the chosen social media accounts to learn more about it. Let's move on to the Lionsgate deal. Dallas made it clear a few times in the video that Lionsgate is just a distributor. They don't have any control over the content itself. They do not have any authority to change the show or what's being said in it. They will just work as a third-party distributor that will make deals with platforms like Amazon and other broadcasting companies so that more viewers can watch the show. So The Chosen didn't go Hollywood. Lionsgate did not buy or own The Chosen in any way. You can be sure about that. In the video, we were also introduced to the new Philip. But before that, Dallas talked about Yoshi just for a few seconds. He said that he was no longer with the Chosen and that they let him go. Wait. We thought it was Yoshi who wanted to stop working on the Chosen. Now it appears it was Dallas and his team who no longer wanted him. Dallas didn't give any reason why that was the case. As for the new Philip, we already showed him to you. He is an actor called Riza Diaco. He is a charming gentleman who seems like he will do a good job. During his introduction, he talked about how much he loves the character Philip and how he is his favorite disciple on the show. He hesitated to name the previous Philip, but said he would try to fill in his wonderful footsteps. The video also gave us a documentary focusing on filming The Chosen Season 3. The documentary is more than 30 minutes long, and it includes many cast members like Jonathan Rumi, giving interviews about their storylines and particular scenes. We hope you enjoy it. That's it from us. We will update you with the latest news from The Chosen as soon as we hear something else. Meanwhile, answer these questions where do you stand in all of this? Do you find Dallas's explanation sufficient? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching.
See you soon.